Alright, so, how y'all doing boys? Hope you're doing well. Today I figured I'd give a little tutorial, just like a, more of my impression on, you know, the new uh, Floor 5 of Tower of Trials. Now, we did actually today get the Season, I think it was 6 of the other Tower of Trials, so I will be doing a video on that as well, but uh, here it is. Now, unlike most of these other stages here, um, these other stages fairly make or break with the teams. I personally reckon it's fairly fl like flawed design. I'm not a fan. I'm sure if you guys have seen my videos on these stages here. I am definitely not a fan, but we've got this new stage here. Now, if you guys have played some of the older Towers of Trials, um, this was the Eskimo. I think it was from the first or second Tower of Trial, the final fight. So, uh, I believe it plays out the exact same now. In, you know, it being the exact same fight. It doesn't have any extreme gimmicks like some of these other teams do, you know. King having to use the full like SR and R team, Meliodas, you know. These have all been like super teams where like if you don't have the units, it's almost impossible. Whereas like this one, yeah, the rewards are a lot worse. I mean, 30 engraving stones is always nice, too, don't get me wrong, but it's a lot easier to do than some of these other fights. Now, when you know there's no gimmicks, you can always just use the best new team. So, you know, instead of chucking together a goddess this team, why not? Another video where we get to use Purgatory Barn, so obviously not going to be going first. I believe you need 500,000 CC to actually go first, but I mean, I'm sure as long as you guys can get up to this fight, it should be fairly easy. I mean, I haven't heard many people to actually struggle with it. Um, yeah, like, I mean, there is like a couple things in the fight, but there's no like breaking mechanics in the fight, but I actually got some good card draws. But I mean, you can't rush alts, which is a bit annoying. Make sure I turn off order there, but... It's nothing too crazy, I mean. I do believe if you attack someone, like one of the adds with type disadvantage, they don't actually take damage, which, you know, could be annoying. So you're definitely best off to, you know, not bring like a mono team. That's why obviously we've got Eskimo here, but I mean, if you guys have a look, when I, you know, use this Heart Crusher card here, it does so, so much damage, as it should, I mean, but look. I do enjoy the other Tower Trials a lot more, but yeah, have a look at this. And it just absolutely crushes Eskimo there. There we go. I mean, not an awful lot to say about it. I mean, I'm sure, you know, you can basically run whatever. I mean, it is weird that I do reckon they should actually implement this to the point where you can just pick whatever stage. I mean, it does kind of break the whole, you know, going climbing up the tower and, you know, team building and whatnot. But I don't know, just my point, but. Um, besides that, I mean, they haven't really given us much more PvE content in this update. I mean, we did get the, um, you know, Chimera and Lamech bosses, a rerun of both of those, which is pretty nice, um, giving us access. Damn, he's just not taking... Does he only take crit damage, maybe? Oh, well, but, yeah, we did actually get the rerun to that, and one thing I feel I should say if you do actually end up running this team in the match, um... Don't use these cards. Uh, both of these guys have stance removal, so they will be absolutely useless. But as you guys can see, we are taking a bit of damage. But like, if you even if you like built a team to actually like you know be suited for this event and actually like you know try and build something to absolutely destroy the event, it'll be fairly easy for you. This adds actually being the toughest challenge for us. But there you go. I mean, and I mean, I figured why not just for video's sake. Let's just get a bunch of units that, you know, people like to build up and would probably have built up, you know, just chuck them in a team and see how it goes, just to show that, you know, it's definitely not the scariest activity in the world, but, I mean, ever since I feel like, you know, the release of Final Boss Eskimo, they've definitely toned down the difficulty on some of this PvE content, but that is a very, very good starting hand. Um, <clears throat> I mean, going second is definitely not something to be scared of, and... God damn, the one took so much damage there. I mean, is there any units I wouldn't recommend? Um, I mean, I'm sure if you're like super, super struggling, <clears throat> actually in one of the other stages to get up to this one, um, there's a stage where you have to like have two units die in the one turn to actually, you know, get through like and actually deal damage. Um, Basically, the team uses like a Fraudron and... Uh, Elizabeth stage, the blue ones, basically, just let them two die, you know, heal yourself up, alt rush, and just go full send on, like, some LV team, I mean, you could probably just use some, like, I don't know if it'd be possible to, oh my god, Eskimo's getting absolutely clapped here, but 
Yeah, I don't know if it'd be possible to, you know, like, solo it with LV or um, AM Melee. I mean, I have actually seen it isn't possible to go through the whole activity with um, AM Melee, but, oh gosh, this is actually kind of scary. Um, here we go. Go with double send on the AoE. Hopefully kill both the adds, and we should, ooh. Why is that guy on the left just not dying? Sure, this single target kills him. Yeah, there we go. I mean, yeah. I don't know why Estimal took so much damage that fight, but as long as Estimal doesn't have like an AoE ultimate here, we should be fine for actually clearing this activity. Goes for Gotha, yeah. It's probably the best outcome. No life steal, please. Oh, sweet, yeah, look. That's easy as. Um. Well, we'll just go for this for the moment, but I mean, look at that. We got absolutely clapped this one. It was such an easy clear. 30 engraving stones. Now, like I said before, it is really nice, but compared to, you know, compared to the, I believe it was the Gotha one before this, uh, they gave it like 50 or 60 of each cosmetic upgrade, which, yeah, look at that. That is so, so good. Like, definitely one of, just up there with engraving stones, but like the hardest things to acquire in this game, so... Anyways, I hope if you guys, you know, a bit scared to try out the stage, it is a lot easier than you expected. And if, you know, you guys are, you know, just wondering what team you should probably use, Blonde Team's probably the best one. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.